On December 19th, an object from outside our solar system passed near Earth. NASA labeled it Comet 3I Atlas. But when data from the flyby came in, astronomers noticed problems. It was moving unusually fast. Its color and spectral signature didn't match known comets. And its response to solar heating was inconsistent with anything we've observed before. So today, we're looking at the raw data to ask a simple question. Was this just a natural object or something else? Some jump to science fiction explanations. But the data points to a simpler reality. This object was never bound to the sun. It was interstellar, material ejected from another star system, drifting through the Milky Way for millions of years before briefly crossing our path. Now it's gone, continuing back into interstellar space. Long after Earth is gone, it will still be out there, unchanged. As of now, we're still waiting for the full data set collected during the final days of observation. Some measurements are in, others are still being processed. So this chapter isn't about drawing conclusions or revisiting theories. I've already done that in a previous video. <clears throat> this time, the focus is simpler. What happens to Comet 3I Atlas next? Based on the most recent data available as of December 21st, 2025, we can calculate its future trajectory with high confidence. Unlike ordinary comets, 3I Atlas is not bound to the Sun. It's on a hyperbolic path, meaning it will never complete an orbit or return. It passed through the solar system once, and now it's leaving for good. The key number here is its hyperbolic excess velocity, about 58 kilometers per second. That's roughly 12.24 astronomical units per year. At that speed, the comet is already on a one-way journey back into interstellar space. If we define the outer gravitational boundary of the Sun as the edge of the Oort cloud, around 100,000 astronomical units, the math is straightforward. From its current position in the inner solar system, it has essentially that full distance still to travel. At its current velocity, 3I Atlas will reach the outer edge of the Oort cloud in about 8,170 years. That places its final departure from the Sun's influence around the year 10,195 CE. To put that in perspective, Voyager 1, the fastest spacecraft ever launched by humanity, travels at about 3.6 astronomical units per year. It would take Voyager nearly 28,000 years to reach the same distance. 3I Atlas will do it in less than a third of that time. Much sooner than that, though, the comet will cross the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind gives way to interstellar space. That region lies at roughly 120 astronomical units. At its current speed, 3I Atlas should pass that boundary in about 10 years, sometime in the mid-2030s. At that point, it will officially leave the Sun's neighborhood. Beyond that lies the long silence. Once the comet exits the Oort cloud in the far future, it will return to truly pristine interstellar space. No sunlight, no planetary encounters, just a cold trajectory through the Milky Way, potentially lasting millions of years before it ever comes close to another star system again. <sighs> Whatever 3I Atlas turns out to be, its future is already written in its motion. One brief visit. Then a long, irreversible departure into the galaxy.
So that's what happens next. Comet 3I Atlas is on a one-way path out of the solar system. It will never orbit the sun, and it will never come back. But once you know that, the more important question becomes simple. Where did it come from? Because objects on trajectories like this don't form here. They are ejected from other planetary systems. And recently, the James Webb Space Telescope showed us what those systems look like. Around a young star called HD 131488, Webb detected carbon monoxide gas created by exocomets being destroyed, icy bodies crashing inward and releasing material into the inner system. Those observations confirm that other star systems naturally create, destroy, and eject comet-like bodies. <clears throat> this is a known astrophysical process, not a mystery. Which also matters for another reason. The same web data provides independent evidence that objects like 3i Atlas are exactly what they appear to be. Natural interstellar comets. Not artificial objects and not alien spacecraft. The chemistry Webb detected, carbon monoxide excited by starlight out of thermal equilibrium, is precisely what we expect from icy bodies being heated and broken apart. It matches comet physics. It matches what we see in our own solar system. This comet fits cleanly into that same picture. A small fragment, produced in a system like the one Webb observed, thrown free by gravity, now passing briefly through ours. It's not rare because it's artificial. It's rare because we almost never get to see one up close. Comet 3i Atlas isn't a mystery craft. It's a natural sample of the same processes Webb is now observing around other stars. 3i Atlas is now heading back into the dark, never to return. We missed our chance to land on it. But... You don't need a telescope to see what's coming next. 2026 is going to be the biggest year for astronomy in a decade. If you want to know about the massive comet arriving in May, click this video right here.